Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless collective reading. So today we're going to take a look at the topic, am I real or am I in somebody training? And some of you will know that this is a concept by Ramdas. We're going to have a bit of Ramdas speaking and explaining this concept while I shuffle. I really like his, it's his take on you know, you being your authentic self versus you being conditioned. Okay, so in regular psychotherapy, psychology, self-help, it's conditioning. But I love his, his spin on that, somebody training. I think it's really cool. One of you asked last time, what was the tarot deck that I was using? It's this one, Tarot of Mystical Moments. So you can see if you can find that. It's I'm sure it's easily available. Uh, it's this one here so yeah you can you can pick that one up but why don't we get straight into the reading all right let's hear what Ramdas has to say about somebody what it is to be a somebody okay. so you and I got born which was in itself an interesting trip. But then, not to get delayed there, <laughs> you and I went into training and we went into basically somebody training. See, we went into training about how to be somebody. Now, you were trained by the best kind of people because they all thought they were somebody. Your mother and father both thought they were real. And therefore they thought their child was real. So you are surrounded by a consciousness in which your separateness is what's real. And you go into separate training. You're somebody. And you learn how to be somebody and get what you think you need. Because at first you think it's all one thing and then slowly you see it doesn't always happen. Most people, when that happens, they get so uh, busy. The somebodyness is like computer software for functioning on this plane, on this loca. Okay. It's our thinking minds. Once we are somebody, meaning we have a conceptual map of reality that includes who we think we are and who we think everybody else is. So we know a tree is a tree and a rose is a rose. Then we go into somebody's special training. See, didn't you? Didn't you? Then we get trained how to be somebody special. I was, I was very special. Everybody was special. And then for us, certainly us who are gathered in this room, something happened. It may have been lurking all through your life or it may have just happened, but at one moment or at some point you awakened. And you can put those in many terms. You realize you'd been had. You realize you had been trapped in somebody-ness. Just in the same way as Gurdjieff talks about landing in prison. And he said, if you would escape from prison, the first thing you must realize is you're in prison. If you think you're free, no escape is possible. Far out image. All right. If you think you're free, no escape is possible. How cool is that? I just love Ram Nas. Now that was taken from a lecture. I'll tell you what the lecture is. I can't, I don't know the link for this one, but I think it's called The Miracle of Consciousness, 1996. But yeah, I love that. So we've all been in somebody training, you know, and I think this, the journey of the spiritual path is dismantling 
the conditioning. It's dismantling the somebodiness. It's dismantling the, the somebody training. And I suppose, you know, we have to use a bit of this somebodiness in the world. Like if you're going for a job, you know, I always use the example of like a LinkedIn profile. You know, you need to create a LinkedIn profile. You need a CV. That, those are examples of healthy ego. We need that stuff too in order to live in the world. Uh, so yeah, let's just see. Let's just see what comes. Take the positive messages. Take the empowering messages. I'll just do this as a simple straight reading. We'll see what comes. We'll see what matches up with what we've just heard. And But this will be a journey. Let's see. I have no idea what's here. <laughs> All right. So the first card. Oh, nice. Turn over a new page. Gosh, I love this. That is beautiful. I love the colors. Let love lead the way for change. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Turn over a new page. There's a tear being shed as well. So yeah, I mean, you might be breaking free from something. You might be dismantling some conditioning, some somebody training. I remember from last time's collective reading, there was a chunk of ego that was supposed to drop off. Afterwards, when I was reflecting about that, I mean, that, that could be a chunk of ego in someone else, but equally that could be in you. That could just be something that's happening around you. But as a continuation of that, it feels like you're ready. You're really ready to turn over a new page. You're really ready to start something new. It kind of feels like when she opens her eyes, it's like that's the beginning of a new chapter. It's like a little bit of a pause here. That is beautiful. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Boundary. That's funny. Did I see this at the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling? I feel like I did. Boundary, yeah, you might need to put up a boundary at this time. There's something about you listening to you and you... You listening to you. We, we might shuffle on this one. The moon, wow, God, that's a pretty moon card. Jeez, look at that. Wow. Something a bit surreal. And like, is it full? Is it new? You know, it's hard to tell. That's lovely. Perfection. I just heard the phrase, not needing perfection. Again, I think this is one we're definitely going to shuffle on. like there's two of her as well there's this the authentic one who's yearning but there's what the mask maybe that's being presented to the outside world which does this does fit in with the whole am I real or am I in somebody training am I real or am I in somebody training, am I using what I learnt from my somebody training, right, which we learnt from parents, school teachers, very often we learnt how to be a people pleaser, you know, and that's the perfect outer face, but inside there's something else going on. All right, two of swords perhaps you've been in a time of indecision not knowing what to choose not knowing what's right for you 
but I, I get the sense that she knows what's right for herself. She really knows. She's ready to turn over a new page. It's like there's some, you need to be decisive here is, is what it feels like. Okay, good. Let's shuffle on. We're going to check all of this out. So I want to shuffle on. I want to get some more information about boundary and perfection for starters and then we'll, we'll explore more. Okay, so boundary. Perfection. Well, that came quickly. All right. Hmm, doesn't want to be seen. Okay. Oh, wow, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, pr protection. Like, the card didn't even want to flip over. It's like it was hard to see the card. Maybe this could be a little bit of you're frightened to show your goods because maybe when you have in the past it's been made fun of or people didn't understand so you've kind of had maybe you've had to shrink I want to get one more on this okay let's just see Am I going on the right path there? Because there's a whole path I can see, but I'm not sure. So I just want to get some more information first before I say all of that. Yeah, wounded warrior. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, I think actually boundary isn't so much about, uh, is not so much about you erecting a boundary against other people. This is actually, I feel like this could be about you relaxing a boundary to share and show more of yourself. Because you've been hurt in the past, I think, maybe when you've done this before, when you've shared, when you've shared that, oh, I have all this beautiful stuff and Maybe there were people around you who shamed you, they didn't like it, they would make you conform, somebody training. Okay, perfection. And this is probably where the pressure of perfection is coming from. Maybe you feel like you have to be perfect, to win the approval of people around you. Nine of Cups. This is self-satisfaction. This is you being happy on your own. You being happy on your own. I actually do think this is something to do with letting people in. Um, interesting. Let's, let's see. What have you been indecisive about? I'll use another deck. We've got eight of cups on the bottom here, but let's see. What have you been indecisive about? Sun. Yeah, it's like you've been indecisive about shining. It's this here. It's it. The theme is coming through again. You've been indecisive about sharing more of yourself. I'll take one here and one here. It's like you've been hiding. I'll shuffle on that in a moment. <laughs> one here and one here with perfection. 
Because perfection is like you know, being controlled and, and I'm happy on my own. So something like you're not you're not letting the love in, maybe. Let's just see. Let's just keep going with these threads and we'll pull some more cards. Okay, Queen of Swords, yes. I think you've had to be a Queen of Swords. I think you've had to have boundaries with good reason. Okay, so that's not you know, you, you've needed the boundaries, but it's like perhaps, and we'll, we're going to explore, but I've got a feeling perhaps if you keep staying in this mode, that may not be good. So let's see what's here. Knight of Pentacles. Yes, this is the slow road, which is the road that you'll take alone. It's controlled. It, it's controlled. It's perfect it's you on your own it's you alone and it's slow <laughs> okay so this is the slow road you've been hiding what have you been hiding and I mean we can see from the rest of the reading I think you've been hiding your gifts your talents what you're really good at but we'll see what have you been hiding what's what's hiding here with the moon card What's hidden? Tradition. Well, I'd say this, I'm actually going to go for, yes, it's tradition, but it's, um, it's your abundance of knowledge. It's your wealth of skill and talent. This could be gifts that you have acquired through many past lifetimes even but it's something to do with I'm going to go for knowledge learning it's like you're sitting on an abundance of knowledge learning expertise feeling inspired to take all right let's take one of these for this what else is hidden whoa grief gosh i wasn't expecting that and this is green this is your heart chakra oh, okay let's see let's understand what this is i'll take one from here and it's interesting that we've got this this swirly type thing is repeated so we're definitely correct here because this was an unusual deck to choose for this but i yeah i just took it and all right let's see grief why is there grief why has grief shown up two Look at this one first. The Emperor. Yeah, and I kind of get that this is to, in connection with maybe a father figure in your life. Three of Cups. Father figure. And with this, I'm kind of getting that th there wasn't enough time with him, maybe. There wasn't enough time. Yeah, with a significant male in your life, you didn't get enough time with him. Okay. And it's really interesting, this connects him with the tradition card. Kind of feeling that Magha Nakshatra type vibe here. We've also got the son, the father here. So there's something connected in with father. Okay. We know that it's the slow road if you go it alone. 
we can understand why you've had to be boundaried in the past. But let's say, let's say you make a decision that I want to turn over a new page. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for the new. You're ready for the new. You open your eyes and what? What happens? You're ready for the new. You open your eyes. And yeah, the Empress, of course. I knew it had to be a good card. <laughs> it has to. This is the new chapter. So it's not a question of like, it's not a question of what. Because so the next chapter is really, really, really good. Look at that. The tears have been shed. You've said your goodbyes to to whatever you've 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 had to grieve something. You've had to grieve a loss. You've shed the tears. You open your eyes, and this is that new world. It's the world where you are the empress. And it's like there's nothing you have to do for it. It's like this is inherent in your beingness. This is who you are. It's like you just have to be this. This is wonderful. We know what's here. We could explore this a little bit more, so let's do that. I want to pick another card. What do I, oh, I haven't used this deck. Oh, we've got to use this one. Oh, it's the Vedic Astrology deck, <laughs> which I have not used in a very long time. This one I can actually plug as well because I made it. <laughs> so have a look at the link below. The link for this one will definitely be there. So we're going to clarify this strand. And then we'll get a couple of quotes. So you've been indecisive. I think you've been indecisive about sharing yourself, about shining, about stepping up more, about giving your real authentic self more. You've been indecisive. Oh, two. All right, let's take them. Let's take them both. Okay, which one did I draw first? I don't even know. Well, doesn't matter. We'll take this one. Ketu in the 12th. Wow. Often leaves country of birth. Psychic ability. Spiritually powerful. Lack of sleep. Yes. Restless mind will get comfort and luxury. Okay. Venus in the 10th. Career focused. Yeah, loves, look at that, loves approval from authority, father, seniors, yes, yes, it's here. It's like you're missing uh, a kind of senior male figure in your life. Could be a father, could be, could even be a teacher or, you know. There are lots of people who can fit the bill for that. Even, you know, some people, they their mother is the emperor in their life you know uh, achieves high ranking positions does well in real estate business social work yeah this is to do with this is to do with work this is to do with so this this reading and this spread has been really interesting because this really is about work and it, it feels like if you're looking for, some, so it, when it comes to your work, career, sharing your gifts, sharing your talents, the thing that might be stopping or blocking you could be in the relationship with a senior authority figure, 
Um, and there's something about, I feel like there's something about you not getting enough time with that person. I want to shuffle here. I want to see who were you... Um, I, 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 I get the word humiliated by, but it's kind of like, who, who shut you down? Okay, so let's have a look. I want to see that. And then we'll take, and then we'll take a couple of quotes. But yeah, am I real or am I in somebody training? I definitely think, I mean, you're totally real. And this whole spread is about share the real authentic you that you are. You're meant to do that. You, it's like part of your purpose here. Because look at that. We've also got a Ketu card here. And I was saying with the uh, Hierophant card that there's something like gifts that have been honed from past life. You got, you're very gifted. You've got a lot of gifts or a lot of knowledge or a lot of your own authority coming from a lot of past lifetimes of work. Part of your purpose is you're meant to, what have we got here? Venus, love, 10th house, work. You're meant to love work. You're meant to love what you do. If you're not loving it, then you've got to make steps towards you being in a career that you absolutely love, okay? And that's the sun, that is Leo, that is fifth house, that is creativity. Anybody who's got any of that energy in their chart, it's so vital that they love their work and, and that they're being creative at work. You can't have this kind of sun energy in your chart strong like Leo or planets in Leo or fifth house energy. Or You can't have that and then be in a job that is dull and depressing to you. Okay, And what excites everybody is different. So there's that as well. Let's see, I want to kind of ask, I'm being a bit of a sticky beak here, but let's have a look. <laughs> what, I've got something around humiliation or something shut you down. What is this thing? Let's just have a look. And then we'll kind of, you know, wrap up. <laughs> All right, I think I'll take it. Whoa, Ace of Cups. Well, that's you. This is not giving me any indication as to who shut you down. But you've got that within. So that, and we all do, right? But let's have a look. Queen of Swords. I mean, it could be a Queen of Swords. But yeah, it's kind of like this boundary isn't allowing like the overflow or something like that. And maybe because of that, um... That's, that's why you're blocked, actually. I'll get one more from here. No, no, I don't. Oh, we've seen it, all right. Mercury in the second. So it's like it's someone in your family, okay? We've got a Mars card behind. Mars could be a sibling. Okay, maybe, maybe a sibling shut you down. That's possible. Especially if it's an older sibling. They do that. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Come on, let's shuffle properly. Um, concentrate. Because that's somebody training. You know, you got to fit in. you got to fit in with the siblings and the friends and the cousins and all those people. Okay. Here we go. Information about the shutdown. Sun in the ninth. Wow, we're getting farther again. Cons con what's con conflict with father and or authority? May change religion if afflicted. If well placed, would be dutiful and ambitious, enterprising and fortunate. Do you know, when there are planets in here, any kind of father type thing, it, it, it is really tricky actually because because you can want conflicting contradictory things from the one person look we've got that card here uh so and wow we've got the sun there as well yeah i mean there's, there's a lot of father energy here look at this you're conflicted contradictory we've got sun appearing here in that who shut you down but then here there's this grief in relation to father as well We've got the Sun card coming through. So there's, there's a lot of 
conflicting, contradictory things coming through in connection with Father. And that, all that conflicting, contradictory type stuff, it might just create a bit of a knot, you know, and there are multiple threads that are creating that knot. So it's like on the one hand, you want Father's approval. On the one hand, the other hand, you want you know, time from him, but then on the other hand, maybe he shut you down and, you know, you weren't able to to be your full self. Equally, I mean, for some of you, it could be mother because we've got queen of swords here. We had the emperor here, but we also had the emperor. And I was thinking about a client of mine who, yeah, like her mother would come up as the emperor, uh, which was pretty interesting. And she was in full agreement of that. And she was like, yes, my mother is the emperor. So who this person is, whether it's mother or father or whoever, basically, this is somebody who put you in somebody training. and But you're dismantling that now in order to be this, in order to be the empress. And you can take that whichever way you like if you're a guy that can be the emperor or you know whoever is the best character in the tarot that you like amazing reading guys but there is i mean the messages here are there's something about i think perhaps you know you felt like it's safer just to do everything on my own which i totally understand Let's draw a card. Let's just draw one card to see, okay, let's say you relax the boundaries, you work with other people, okay, you relax the boundaries, you work with other people, you grieve the past. Okay, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> you grieve the past. You grieve what didn't happen. You give yourself maybe what you would have wanted in terms of love or approval or whatever. And you relax the boundaries and you, you relax the need to do it all on your own. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we get. No, I don't know. Let's shuffle some more. Okay. Oh, wow, beautiful Jupiter in the second. That's great. Yeah. Expansion. People will hear you. Jupiter in the second. Jupiter in the second, like... When you speak, everyone will listen kind of thing. Speaks with authority and wisdom. Exudes optimism. Teaching comes naturally. Takes on family business, yeah, or runs own business. Knowledgeable. That's really amazing because we've got the father here. And we've got some ancestral gifts here or something that, that you can share with people, you know. So good. Loving this reading. All right, let's take a look. Perhaps if your father's on the other side, he wants to help you. You know, he'll help you create what it is that you want to create. A shaman was asked, what is poison? Anything beyond what we need is poison. It can be power, laziness, food, ego, ambition, vanity, fear, anger, or whatever. Yeah, I got this from Instagram somewhere. I'm no longer on Instagram, but a long time ago when I was on it, I used to take pictures of cool quotes. And yeah, this was one of them. Wow, that's a great quote. Love that. By the way, one of you said that you write the quotes. That is so cool. Like you, you've got a little book where you write the quotes. That's so awesome. It reminds me, it's amazing. We've, we've got all this father energy here. My dad had these great quote books. I'm going to find them one day and... Hopefully I'll get to share those with you guys. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, how cool. We've got Ramdas. There's only one Ramdas quote in the jar. That's great. Yeah, of course he came through. The freer I get, the higher I go, the more I see. The more I see, the less I know. The less I know, the more I'm free. That is beautiful. Wow. The more I see, the less I know. The less I know, the more I'm free. It's really interesting with boundaries. It's like 
you know, sometimes we're erecting boundaries, sometimes we're dismantling them, sometimes we are being our authentic self, sometimes we're using the world, you know. But I like this, the less I know, the less I know, the less I know, the less I know, the more I'm free. The more I see, the less I know, the less I know, the more I'm free. Got it. Yeah. Oh, let's have, just have one more and then I will wrap up. Okay, what's in here? All right, it's this one. My heart is at ease knowing that what was meant for me will never miss me and that what misses me was never meant for me. Imam al Shafi, Shafi? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but this is a beautiful quote. Yeah, just be at ease. You're on track. There's nothing for you to do. That's the other thing. I didn't get too much of a sense of you have to do anything, okay? It's, it's just, it's more about being. It's more about just being the empress, just being... Or being in this place where your eyes are closed is fine too. Like it's just, but it's just some, just some gentle thing about being. You're being, but it's like when you open your eyes, I'm telling you, this Empress chapter is going to begin. That's what's here for you. Wow, this has been wonderful. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.